Shalom, Barakat de Yahweh, Barakat de Yahweh Shah, Kal Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopefully elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall awam. This is Akwana from the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp, the church in Alabama. And Yahweh Shah, our Lord and our Savior, is the only way to salvation, and not of your own works. You have a lot of jakes, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have woken up to the fact that they're Hebrew Israelites, which, pursuant to the book of Isaiah 37, which is the Valley of the Dry Bones, they have gained the skin, which is their identity, which they know that they're Hebrew Israelites, but they don't have the inspiration. They don't have the breath. All right. And that's understanding from the Most High, which gives you faith automatically in his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, which is our only way back to the Most High and not by our own works. You got the head demon of IUIC, which is Israel united in Christ. All right, not in Yahweh Shah with this marketing scheme and selling these jakes that has woken up to the fact that they're Hebrew Israelites. These apparels with uh, fringes on the bottom of them. You might have a t-shirt. You might have a, a, a even a button up with a collar on it with fringes on the bottom of it. All right, which represents what? The law, which something that we couldn't keep in our past lives. And now we being in the daughter of Babylon, which is America, our captivity. What makes you think that we are worthy enough to wear fringes all day long, all right, as if we're keeping the laws, statutations, and commandments here in captivity when we couldn't do them, all right, or we couldn't keep them in our past lives, all right? That's great deception, and that's uh, avoiding your Savior. That's putting off your Savior, which is your house shot, all right? Even if we was capable of keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, which we didn't do them in our past life, so you know we can't keep them here in captivity, but if we could, this is what the scripture says, this is Isaiah 64 and 6, and it says, but we are all as unclean things, and all our righteousness is as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And that's right. And that's what happened to us in our past lives. That's why we, as a nation, all right, as Israel, here in America, are in our captivity. Because we couldn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments in our past lives. Okay? But if you could keep them all right now, which you can't. The scripture says, but we are all as unclean things and all our righteousness, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, are as filthy rags. And we do all fade as leaves and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. All right. But the scripture says, even your, your righteousness is a filthy rag to the Most High. All right, so if you could keep all the laws, statutes, and commandments here in captivity, which is something you can't do, all right, all of that righteousness will still be as a filthy rag to the Most High. Thus, we need a physician. Thus, we need Yahweh Shah. All right, that's taking Yahweh Shah out of the picture, thinking that you are all righteous and you can save yourself by you keeping the laws. All right, this is uh, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 23. In verse 1, and it reads, Then spake Yahweh Shah to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All right? And, and that's the, the spirit that these Jakes that has woken up to the fact that they're Israelites, all right, due to uh, that head demon at IUIC, Nate Satan, all right, is putting out that... Uh, 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 deceptive spirit, man. All right, or making they them thinking that they wearing their fringes all day long on their clothes will lead them to salvation. All right, but the scripture says Saint Matthew twenty three and two saying, 
This is what Yahweh Shah, our Lord and our Savior, said. The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, the seat of the law. All right, we all know the Most High gave the laws, the statutations, and commandments. All right, to Moses to give to the nation of Israel. All right, verse 3. All therefore, whosoever they bid you observe. And he's speaking of the Pharisees. So whatever they say to you, observe. Which means, hold dear, take heed. Because they are beholders of the law. Because what? They're sitting in Moses' seat. All right? So they're uh, uh, carriers of the law. So they're speaking the law to you. Which means to bid you. All right? Observe. That observe and do. All right? So learn what they're saying. Observe what they're saying and do. Because it is the law. The law to this day here in our captivity is still in effect. That's why we need Yahweh Shah. All right, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. That's right. And that's these demons out here that's, you know, claiming that they're keeping the laws, uh, uh, claiming that, that they're uh, 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 truly keeping the laws, statutations, and commandments, something that is impossible here in our captivity once again. All right. But that leads to you being a hypocrite, man. That you leads to you um, trying to carry your own salvation or make your own way unto salvation. That's avoiding your Savior, which is Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. All right? So the scripture says, all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe that observe and do, but do not after their works, for they say and do not. So they speak the law all day long. They tell you to keep the laws, but they don't keep them. All right? And that's Yahweh Shai talking about the Pharisees, which you got plenty of jakes in this modern time here in America is in that Pharisee's spirit. All right? Verse 4, for they bind heavy burdens, which are the laws, and grievous to be borne, grievous to be carried, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves, concerning the Pharisees, will not move them concerning the laws with one of their fingers, which meaning they speak of the law, they tell the other people to do the laws, but they won't move, move not one of the laws with their own fingers, which meaning they won't show no action to what they have learned, to what they read and what they speak of, all right? Because these are, 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 are heavy burdens. All right, and like the scripture said, and grievous to 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 bear. All right. Um, verse five. But all their works do they, for to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. And that's right. Just like Apostle Har said. All right, you, you guys walk around with fringes. All right, you, your fringes, your fringes. But where where are your phylacteries? See, who are your phylacteries? And, and the head of my camp, all right, uh, the brother of Rum, mistress of the kingdom, made that statement a while back. All right, these guys want to flaunt the uh, 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 the the, the uh, uh, fringes all day long on your clothes, but where are your phylacteries? If if you claim to be upholders of the law, all right, which you are avoiding your savior, which is your house, which leads, all right, to destruction, man. Okay, the scripture says, but all their works they do for to be seen of men, for they brought their phylacteries and enlarged the border of their garments. All right, and, and Yahweh Shai said that, all right, in, in uh, another passage in the gospel, Luke 20 and uh, 45, it says, Luke 20 and 45. Uh, it says, then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples that he is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, beware of the scribes, which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and in the highest seats in the synagogues and in the chief's rooms at feast, uh, feast. all right, which meaning they love to be exalted by men. All right, like we just read, they do things to be exalted by men. All right, they want to wear all the fancy uh, long robes. All right, get all the greetings when, when they hit the, 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 the marketplaces. All right, 
They want the highest seats in the synagogue. They, you know, they want to, to be to exalt themselves. All right. Boasting as, as being law keepers. All right. And avoiding salvation. Okay. And that's what the spirit of a lot of Jakes that has woken up to being Hebrew Israelites in this modern time right now. Those that, that rejected Yahweh Shai back then. All right. Jump back to uh, Matthew 23 and 6, and it says, And love the, up, the uppermost rooms at the feast and the chief seat in the synagogue, speaking of these Pharisees, and the greetings in the markets, and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi, all right, which means teacher, teacher, or master, master. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even a Mashiach and all ye are brethren. That's right. Amashiach is our masters, all right? And we follow men that follow Yahweh Shah. Like Paul said, be ye followers of me as, as I am of, of Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, all right? And that's who we follow, the spirit, all right, of Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. He is our master. He is our teacher, all right? And we are all fellow yokesmen, all right? The scripture saying, all ye are brethren, okay? Let's jump from there and let's get a... Um, Let's get the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 6, and it reads, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 5, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, uh, Galatians 6 and 3, if a man think of himself to be something, when, when he's not, he deceiveth himself, all right, read known, but our Sufficiency is of the most high. Verse 6, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, all right, of salvation, okay? Not of the letter. Why? Because, hey, like I said at the beginning of the lesson, through the Spirit, we couldn't keep the laws, statutations, and commandments in our past lives. Here in captivity, where everything is set up against the natural order of things, what makes you think we're going to be able to keep them now? All right. The scripture says, not of the letter, which means not of the law, but of the spirit. And we're coming through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. All right. The laws of, of the Most High are still in effect to its fullest right now. And we follow them. All right. The, the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, uh, we should what? Rehearse the righteous acts. And that's what we do. We rehearse the righteous acts because we can't keep them to the fullest. But we rehearse the righteous acts. All right. That's why we need a savior. That's why we need Yahweh Shah. That's why we need uh, 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 the spirit of life. That's why we need salvation. The scripture says, but of the spirit for the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. See, and that spirit is what? Yahweh Shah which give us life and his salvation through the faith of Yahweh Shah. All right. The letter killeth, man. That's why the Most High sent Yahweh Shah, okay, to save the elect. And that's therefore the whole nation of Israel shall be saved through the elect. Otherwise, we would be destroyed by the Most High. We, we deserve death in the sight of the Most High because we have broke uh, the law. And we're still breaking the law. There's no one keeping the law to its fullest. All right. The scripture said, but but the but the spirit giveth life, man. And we have that quickening spirit that giveth life. All right. Let's get uh since I said no one uh keeps the law perfect. This is James 2. And um in verse 10 it says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. See? So the ones who claim to uphold the law and being in that Pharisee spirit, you know, and, and not believing in a savior, not believing in Yahweh Shah, all right, and you claiming that you upholding the law, all right, and you keep this and you keep that, all right, and you walk out the house with mixed garments, all right, and you even be in the same room as your as your woman when she's on her middle school, you have you are guilty of all, all right, because you have offended one point. But you claim to wear your fringes all day long, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. Not believing in Yahweh Shah, not hearkening unto the voice of Yahweh Shah leads to destruction. 
All right, that leads to death. All right, let's get that. Proverbs 13 and 13. All right, and the scripture says, Proverbs 13 and 13. Whosoever despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Now, what's the word? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right, Psalms 40 and 7, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. What's the volume of the book? The writings of the book, which are the words, which are Yahweh Shah. Whosoever despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Whosoever despiseth the Yahweh Shah. Our Lord and our Savior, the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And we fear the commandment of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, which is doing the work. Feeding the, the lambs, feeding the sheep, all right? Feeding the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? That's, 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 that's the commandment of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, and Lord, Lord willing, we fear that commandment unto the end. We continue in the work. We continue in the, in the doctrine and the knowledge unto the end. Lord willing, we be those men in hopes of salvation because that's the only way of salvation. We can't save our own selves thinking that we can uphold the law ourselves here in captivity and save ourselves, you know. But Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying and, you know, this made sense and know that, you know, we must Come in through the door, John 10, man. That's the only way into the to the sheepfold. That's the only way into salvation is coming in through the door and not, you know, claiming that you're upholding the law, which is something that you're not doing, right? Especially here in captivity. Something we couldn't do in our past life when we had a chance to do it. So there's no way that we're going to be able to do it now right here in captivity. All right, with that, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bah Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth, peace, and blessings to the hopefully elect. Death to America.